Times were tough, so I sold my soul. Hey Internet, Draco Funk is here, and this is the 100 subscriber special where I drive a rover train to the South Pole, and this is episode 17, and here's the rover train, and I am continuing south. All I gotta do is bring in those dishes, satellite dishes that is, release the brakes, and we're on our way. So nothing really special today. It's just head south. I'm heading just a little bit to the left of that 270 heading. So probably about like a heading of 260 or so. And surprisingly, the, the terrain here is not too bad. There are some hills, but nothing super treacherous. Nothing that I'm really super worried about. And it's just another episode of Heading South. Now, there, there are some hills. I don't want to call them a mountain range, but... It looks like it might get a little rocky if I were to go to the left. I still haven't decided yet if I'm going to cross the river or go around it. And I don't quite need to make that decision yet. I have to get around all the rocky sections which is going to take me probably about two more episodes after this before I need to start heading either in a southern direction or a southeast direction to go around the river. But for today I am just kind of following the shore a little bit. The shore is to my right. And you can't really see it unless I zoom really far out. But I'm not I'm not doing that yet. Today I am just well, I'll probably zoom a little bit further out. Today's issue, though, is since the terrain is actually kind of okay for driving, nothing treacherous, that means I tend to go a little bit faster and I use my batteries a little bit more, so then I can't recharge and I'm, I'm just running out a little bit more. But hey, I don't know if you saw, but I've finally released the next episode of the Reusable Space Program. And we sent, well, we'd sent the Space Bus 3 to Duna. And I had some issues with the docking ports. I had stuck docking ports. And it wasn't just, it was actually the Duna station that I noticed it, but it was also Space Bus 1 is also stuck on Enterprise Station, and there were some other docking ports that were stuck. I, I do not know what all of them were. I just know that I found 11, but I have a lot of things docked to other things. I mean, it could, it could even easily have been one of the docking ports on the rover train was stuck, and I wouldn't have known it unless I tried to undock it and nothing happened, which actually happened as I was constructing the space station in orbit of Duna, Discovery Station, I could not disconnect the mining ship from the station core to move the 
the truss to where it's supposed to go. And the next episode, you will see Duna Station, or Discovery Station in orbit of Duna, is finally constructed, and even Space Bus 3 will make its way to the station. That episode actually has already been recorded, edited, and I think think it just needs to be uploaded so that that will be out next week I've, I've probably just spoiled all the um, interesting things that happened however I have done some recording already for the next episode including a short special where a special spacecraft flies into orbit. I, I really don't know why or what the purpose of that mission was yet, but it was just something I felt like doing. I don't know when it'll be out, but maybe sometime. Hey, I also put out some more KSP-2 content where I attempted to fly and land on the island airfield. It you, you should watch the video and see what happens. I It was a surprise. Uh, very much a surprise. It got me to thinking that... I really think I want to do a side-by-side -side mission where I take off in KSP-1 and KSP-2 and fly a similar mission from the runway to the island airfield. And just do a side-by-side -side comparison and see how that goes. And maybe I'll do that and upload it for next week. Maybe. There, there's lots of things I would like to do, but I don't always have as much time. Uh, as for the four drink minimum, well, I want to say the one this week, but it won't actually be the one this week. What do we have coming out this week? This week, I believe, is... An episode of Scrodrick and Vomit Only. And then the following week will be Scrodrick, Vomit, and myself. And now we have an issue where Scrodrick is not available this week. I am not available this week. And it seems Shaggy B is also not available. So, I don't know that Vomit will do a solo project. If he does not, that's okay. I have a solo project I recorded a while ago and ended up not releasing because I did not want to subject everybody to the torture of that video. However... I, I will do so, and I do have an alarm going off. I need to dismiss that. So, yes. Anyway, I haven't really been watching the video that I'm commentating to. And I'm just driving south. There are sporadic trees, not very many, and some hills. But the most concerning thing is the level of my batteries. I'm down to like 2,000 units, and that that is a big problem. I was trying to be a little bit conservative with my power usage and have not really done so. Uh, 
about here I did start to notice that I was having some issues so let me let me explain the process of recording these videos so normally what I do is I sit down I start up the game I start up my screen recording app I've been using OBS if there's something better that I should use put a message in the comments and I'll look into it I get set up ready to record I start a timer and at the same time as starting the recording I, I know roughly about how long the intro track takes and where to start the video and then I drive until I get to about an hour in which time I will stop and let the video record out. I'll give myself a little bit of time for an outro. I will then stop the recording and then I will go to another program. Now I've used a couple different uh, er, video editing software. The one I'm currently using is OpenShot. It is free and I use it where I take the first however many seconds or minutes sometimes it's only about half a minute before I start driving sometimes a little bit more wherever and I keep that at normal speed and then I go to the end and find this place where I want to do the outro and I cut it there and then the middle part of the video the part we're on right now I mute the audio so you don't hear high-pitched whatever and then I speed it up four times as fast. So you don't have to watch me drive for an hour and I don't have to think of things to talk to to you about for an hour. Then I make sure everything is placed in the correct spot on the video and then I render the video. And that video has no commentary. It doesn't have any music. It is just the video. And then I watch that video and I do a commentary. I record my audio separately. And let's zoom out there for a second. See the hills to the left, the shore to the right. Anyway, I record that audio. I'm actually going to pause right now and let my batteries recharge some. But anyway, I record my audio and then I clean up the beginning and ending of the audio and I make a slide. Then I go back to my video editing software and I put everything together and render the video yet again. And then when that's done rendering, I take that video and I upload it to YouTube. That is the magic there is of making these videos. Now I have done things different ways. I think actually the, the 60 subscriber special where I drove to the North Pole, I actually recorded all that audio live because I did not speed anything up. So everything there was actually live and happened as it happened. So all my stimmering and stammering happened in real time. My whole looking for a place to having to turn around and backtrack. You heard me find that out in real time as it happened, as I discovered it. So yeah, I am actually recording this video 
Uh, not at home. I'm in my studio today. Um, the problem being is my studio gets quite warm and I have to run the air conditioner. Otherwise, it gets uncomfortably hot in here as well as... Well, it just would be bad. And that means I have to cut out the audio of my air conditioner. But I can generally edit most of that out. But hey, we have come to the part of the video where we are stopped. And that's where we are going to stop for today. But hey, if you haven't done so, like and subscribe this video it really helps out the whole YouTube algorithms and stuff. Just giving you an idea of where we are on Kerbin. Can't really see the North Pole ice caps anymore. And there. So we still have quite a ways to go. We're not even to the equator yet. But thanks for watching and check out our other videos and all our other stuff here on Highway 47 and have a good night.